Good morning ladies and gentlemen from wherever you're watching in. Allow me welcome you to match day five to match day five of the Skyview Boys Schools Cricket Week. We are live here at Ginger State Secondary School and you're watching us live from Deep End Sports Media. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a big game of the day. It is a Ginger Derby and it is a New Region Derby. It is a game between Busoga College Mwiri and Ginger Senior Secondary School and we are here right in the middle for the toast with the two captains and the two umpires. It is the call and tells it is. Thank you so much. Uh, <coughs> captain, I'm here with the captain of Soko College, Muri Nogawa Edwin, who has won the toss and he has elected to ball first. Edwin, what should do we expect from you and your team? With me is Sajabi Ivan. The captain for Soga College Mwiri is coming from the Kampala Road end to open the bowling for his side, Nwagawa Edwin. First shot is flicked away towards long off, sorry, long on some poor fielding there and the ball races down to the boundary for sure. Ginger SS has come with a lot of energy as you see the first ball was hit for a four. Richard who scored a century in the first in the first game of Ginger Sess in this tournament. Sorry, that is Wagaga Hassan who, open, who is opening the batting with Sohera Richard. Ginger has come with a lot of positivity in them. A good delivery from Nuagaba. That was a chance for a catch. Unfortunately, <coughs> the bowler wasn't in position to get it. And Bagaga Hassan will go with it. Need. It was a chance for the bowler to get his own catch. And I look at it here, could change everything. Another chance there for a catch. But the field at the was in position to get it as well. As he dived when the ball had just passed by him. JSS can put on board. Bagaga Hassan and Sohera Richard are the batsmen that Ginger Senior Secondary School has trusted to come and open the batting. Good weather. Everything is looking good here at Ginger SS. New ball are coming in from Soga College Mwiri Ochaya Jaffa. Ochaya Jaffa plays for the baby cricket cranes. 
and he represented Uganda in the under 19 qualifiers that happened in Dar es Salaam last year. Now here he is to bowl for his side. It's Bagaga on strike. waiting for the delivery that is delivered to him and his positivity. <coughs> his positivity. The body, the body. Big thing there, some connection on it. The chest is on, the ball racing towards fine leg. They take two, but the fielder manages to get and sends it back quickly. That was a very nice fielding. Another big swing, and Vagaga Hassan connects that one. Playing shots down the leg, and they are taking two. I don't think those are very good balls from Jaffa. Because Sims is putting the balls on the body lane and giving Vagaga enough time, room, and chance to make sure he swings to that ball. Vagaga Hassan trying to stretch his arms. Like I would want to hit this ball for a four again. Counts. They want to make sure that they get a run from every ball. Both teams, Busoka College, Mwiri and Kingas Nia Secondary School are in Group B. Sorry, are in Group A. Where Busoka College, Mwiri is stopping the table after playing four matches and winning all the four matches. Eight points. But they have played the game more than Jinja Secondary School, which has played three and won all. The left-hand batsman there, Sohera Richard, blocks that one to point, and they don't run. Today is really a big day for us. Jinja Senior Secondary School versus Busoga College Mwiri are all like lions here. So just, Ivan, first predict this game and see. These teams are so good. Whom do you think will take the win? Indeed, the adrenaline is very high, very high for all the teams. But when I look at the statistics, the last two games played between these two teams that were during the school's league, including the final, Ginges has managed to win both. And they came into the, this tournament... <coughs> as champions of the Nilo region. But also, every time Busoga College Mwiri meets Jinjeses in the school's cricket week, they always have the upper hand, in remembering that last year they managed to beat Jinjeses at the hill and they qualified for the finals. So, on a good of cricket like this one, any of these two teams can win. As you see, there are coaches. I think every coach there is on fire. As you see, Mr. Issa there standing right near the field. He's with some hobbies of Mwiri. They are really, really on fire. Indeed, the hobbies of Mwiri have turned up in big numbers twice and make sure that they can support their teams. Coach Abibu Mugalo is also in his dugout. So many students of Ginger SS are all over the place shouting and making some noise for the boys to make sure that they win this game. Remember, <coughs> in the toss, Bosoka College Muru won the toss and elected to ball first. Captain Waga Edwin told us that he will try and make sure that he limits them to only eight runs. I don't know whether 
they could get limited to 80 runs but they could maybe go slightly above that it's no agaba on, on, on into attack again and so here richard is facing so richard is facing the balls Mwaga Baidwin coming back to ball from the Kampala Road end. A beautiful block there of the first ball and the ban is back into his position. Tries to flick that one away. Unfortunately, the fielder was very sharp. Conrad Diruama there <coughs> at point. Big swing and some connection onto it through covers. The dive was there, but the ball managed to go past the fielder. Nwagawa Edwin back there. <coughs> These fielders are showing so much energy into the field. There was a chance for a, for an out, but unfortunately, the fielder threw it above the wickets every time you throw the ball you have to make sure that it goes to the fielder <laughs> the fielders are eager to stop every ball that comes their way as you see quick changes are being made into the field the fielders are showing that they can do anything to stop the runs A leg by there, and the batsman managed to go for two. It's the end of the third over. Bagala repeat to smash the ball. A good delivery from him. Jafa make it. Any batter can smash that one away. I think Musaga, Musaga College Muiri came with the sense of just bowling spin only. As you see, spinners are coming from there and there. And I see these guys are getting to run the ball. <coughs> and I managed to get to run the ball delivered by Ochat. Nice. <laughs> I 
even does Finn give you difficulties while batting? Because I see, I think Mwili was like, Ineses can't bat spin. On any day when I'm batting, I would so much love to play medium pace. Big swing there. But the fielder was in the right position to stop that ball. And he would just slip back. Bagagasan, sorry, sorry, Richard, not expected to get a boundary off that one. Unfortunately, it did go by his plan. Very good. It was a very good catch from one of the fielders there. And Gagaga Hassan is out. Very disappointed. Indeed, Gagaga Hassan, alongside Sohera Richard, they had to give their team a very good start. Unfortunately, they have lost a wicket before it's even power play. And Musaka College Muri will celebrate that one. The, ad the adrenaline is very high for the fielders, shouting, busy, weary, busy, we're reminding everyone that they are the lower parts. The Batman coming in right there is... Guess Ronald coming on to the strike. It's Hera Richard on strike. And then striker is Marguez Ronald. Hera ready to smash balls. As you see, Nwagaba hit for attack. Nwagaba had been holding Sarah and making sure that he loads. Because that's how he win the game. Big swing there. Chance for a catch. But he out. First six of the day. That was the maximum from Sahira Richard. Very nice pick up. And he just said Nwagaba had been out of the pitch. Nuagawa looks to be disappointed as you see he's requesting for the ball but he's like oh my god what's happening here as this so here is seeing he has seen the ball and he just sent it right out to the field. And that's a big six, a very big six from him. Good shot. So here are Richard. A good delivery from Nwaka. We're blocking from Sarah Richard. The fielder here is really, really, really active. He isn't allowing any of the batsmen to get, to get run there. He's really doing his job.
and gentlemen, change in the commentary box. We are joined by Hope Shila Mbemsa and Sandra Achao. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this nice looking weather down here in Jinja Senior Secondary School. Here we are having the Jinja Derby right here in day five of Sky B Boys. Welcome to our home ground of Jinja Senior Secondary School. We are, we are really, really happy to have the Jinja Derby right here. Here in the com box, I'm not alone. I'm here with Hope Beza. Hope you're most welcome. Thank you, Sandra. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful delivery there from Ochaya and Magazi blocks that one. We did some good ball blessing there, but who is trying to give in some big, big, big energy? Some good energy applied by the batsman taking that ball with a lot of energy. Yeah, Ginger says he's trying to utilize the power play. After hitting that big, after hitting that good shot, that he respects a good ball. Ochaya, and that has marked the end of over number six. Yeah, Magazi Ronald talking to his partner, Sohela Richard. That was the end of the power play. Junior Senior Secondary School taking over Muiri. Busoga College Muiri, ladies and gentlemen, you're most welcome to the home of industries down here in Jinja. We do really want to welcome you. It is just six hours down. You're not yet late to go to your social media handles. Go and type. Go to your Google and you can easily type Skyview Boys National Schools Week 2023 and you can follow the game right in there. Yeah, change of bowler. Bowling the seventh over for Mwiri is Mukisa Eric coming from the Kampala Road end. So here Richard, the man who is on strike right now, he has opened bowling. As you can see, he's very ready waiting for that ball who is coming in next. Yeah, Madam Sandra, according to the way you're saying this guy is of Ginger says but can you predict this score? Uh, right now I can't really say that I can predict but because we have just started and this is just this but I can as per now I can say hundred and fifty for Ginger Senior Secondary School. All right. Some good delivery there from Mukisa, right there for you. Sohera still facing 
some good energy there. As you can see, some good chance was given for the catch. But some poor communication plus the misfield from the fielders. As you can see, they're struggling with the ball here and there. Finally, the, they pick it up and sending it back straight to the bowler's end. Yeah, and they managed to get three runs of that ball. So, hope, according to uh, the way you've just seen the boys running here, uh, so they are trying to look for many runs as possible. Him coming up to the middle and going back. Let's assume the ball was already there around the stumps. Don't you think he would be out? Or you, you trust him that he's ever quick, even the legs are quick, uh, so that he can run back straight to, his, uh, to, to defend his house? No, not really. According to the way he ran, they took that first run quick, but the ball was already in the hands of the fielder. So he, he wanted to get that second run, but it was risky. I think there was some poor um, communication between the two guys because a bit there from the fielders there. Yeah, the bowler asks Magese Ronald if he's having a driving permit and Magese Ronald answers yes by driving that ball and managed to get one of it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really, really nice to be here right in Ginger Senior Secondary School Oval. As you can see, the spectators are very, very eager because these are, these are the teams who are battling. We're battling together with Ginger Senior Secondary School. After last year, them battling still and one team managed to come as a champion. That was the end of the seventh over. 32 for the loss of one in seven overs down. Yeah, still Magazi Ronald and Sohela Richard still battling for Ginger Says to see, to put on a score that is defendable. As you can see, everywhere the what is really happening. I guess Ronald is out. He hit straight to the filter there. Finally, Bahab picks Johera Richard after facing 19 balls, having only 14 runs. Magazi Ronald scored 4 of 10 and he was caught by Ochaya and the bowler was Fahad Motagana. Coming in as number four is Oloka Pias. He plays for Aziz Damani. He just came back some uh, one month ago. So ladies and gentlemen, let's wait and watch. Either they got more experience from, from Dar es Salaam and uh, we'll wait and see what is going to deep this place against Soka College Muiri. 
Let's see what he can do for his team. Fahad Motagana coming from the banana plantation end to bowl the eighth over for Mwiri. So ladies and gentlemen, we shall keep you updated of the other games that are taking place in different grounds. As we keep you updated, you can draw for yourself Skyview Soda in this chilly winter. This nice weather right right here in Ginger City. Yeah, you can see Pius's body language is really good. You know sometimes body language also determines what you're going to do down there on the pitch. Of course, as we can see the batter trying to uh, relax and trying to cool down his breath a little bit. You can see he's even trying to shape after facing his first ball being delivered by Fahab right there for you. Some good delivery. He tries to go big there. And the fielder misses the opportunity to take that one. And they were able to score three of that ball, pushing the score to 36 for two in 7.3 overs that was a very good chance given to Mwiri but unfortunately it goes past the fielder and uh, they were able to make three runs out of it them being quick and good athletes right there in the middle Nice delivery there from Mutagana Fad. The ball hits Oloka's pad. They all appeal to the umpire, but the umpire says no, not out. Umpire gives no response to the fielders after appealing so very hard, looking for that wicket of Oloka Pires. <coughs> but umpire stands right there with his decision that a no is a no on my side. As you can see, umpire also trying to do some exercise right in there. Yeah, poor communication down there between Sohela and Oloka Pius. Sohela Richard is so eager to make the runs, no matter what. For him, he says, we must take this one, even where it's not. I believe he's having pressure from the dressing room because he wants to be so angry about the runs. They want to score very many runs as fast as possible. Eight overs down, two wickets lost, 37 runs on board. Coming to ball the eighth, the ninth over for Mwiri coming from the Kampala Road end is Mokisa Eric. So Hela Richard on strike. Beautiful cut shot there. Nice fielding from Captain Nwagaba Adrian of Mwiri and they were able to make two runs only. The captain himself is trying to do some good work. As you can see, he's trying to talk to his players 
and even talking to the bowler himself trying to tell him like put the ball here some good spell there as you can see that ball has been saved right there in covers by the fielder who has just dived in saving that ball from leaving him another beautiful glance shot there and they get one of that ball Oloka Paris on strike the score is 40 for 2 in 8.3 overs some that was a very very nice ball placement there because he looked at the pitch and he saw some good gap there that is why he was able to just put that ball for one and they were able to make that easy one with ease chance for a run out and they miss it overthrow there and they were able to make the second run really really nice having two teams battling themselves another chance they are given for the catch let's wait unfortunately drops such a painful way as you can see they were looking for that one one wicket a very big shock but you, as you can see the captain trying to console his fielder that next time i believe in you that you'll be able to take it with ease yeah we all know that catches win the games but these guys are not using their chances you see uh, uh the fielders they are trying to give her the chances after because so far they have given out something like three uh three chances but let me hope at the end of the day they won't be that marks the end of the ninth over the score is 44 for two yeah oloka Paris is trying to talk to his partner sohela richard That was a very, very good chance given to Muiri, but unfortunately, the fielder was not in position to get that ball with ease. He ends up dropping that ball and making everyone shocked and wondering why that ball was being dropped. But let me hope at the end of the day, they won't be in position to regret and uh, pinpointing each other that it is because of you that you lost this game. Another beautiful shot there from Sohela Richard. But the fielder down there did a very good job. And they were able to make only two runs. Pushing the score to 46 for two in 9.1. Motagana Fahad bowling the 10th over for Mwiri coming from the banana plantation end. According to you, Hope, uh Busoga Kore Muiri opting to make their, their spinners trying to spin balls here and there. What do you think is their strategy for Ginger Senior Secondary School? I think captain of Mwiri chose bowling first because I think they are strong in bowling, maybe, and decided to open up with spin. Maybe he thought that Ginger says Ginger says weakness is playing spin. So.
some good ball positioning there by Fahab. Oloka Payas together with Shohera Richard right in there for you as they make their one there right in there they were trying to glance at each other if it was possible for them to make the second run but they looked at each other and saying ah uh -uh, my friend you cannot make it we might be risking a lot yeah mwiri fielders are so strong they don't let balls go i think that's why beautiful shot there from sohela richard and it goes for four some good knock there from shohela richard pushing that ball straight to the boundary and as you can see they're trying to talk to each other consoling themselves that you can really really push these runs with ease as long as we stick in the wicket yeah they are both trying to play positive they are not giving out they are not getting lots of dot balls and i think that is good for the team because when you keep on getting those dot balls you always end up putting on a score a less score that marks the end of the tenth over 54 for the loss of two Ginger Senior Secondary School versus Busoga College Mwiri. Yeah, you can see So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we shall have some little break as Sajabi together with Whitney coming in to take you through this nice and wonderful cricket right live here in Ginger Senior Secondary School of Busoga College taking in Ginger Senior Secondary School as we go out there and grab some cold sky view footy. My name is Sajab Evan Supriyan Dan Sipping my sky view and I am back in the comms box. I am back with the baby Victoria Powell's player written in Asuna here to give us more of the commentary. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nasuna Whitney here in the comms box. The game is looking good because every, every team is now on pressure, showing that they won that first position. Now, let's continue watching the game and we see. The score is 54 for 2 in 10 overs. It's Oloka Pius on strike, having 8 runs in 9. And Sohela Richard, having 27 in 26. News coming in from other grounds. Atikira College, Butiki, Ovo, Good Heart. Secondary school is taking on Kira College Butiki. Good heart won the toss and they elected to bat first. Score is 19 for 5 after 9.4 overs. 
<coughs> Lord is me is taking on Yakasura school at the hill at Musoka College Mwiri Cricket Oval. Nyakasura has won the toss and elected to bat first. Score is 141 for 1 after 10.2 overs. Mark Arroheza there has already hit the half century mark. 59 of 31. Other grounds, uh, St. John's Secondary School is taking on St. Joseph Laibi. St. John's Secondary School won the toss and they elected to bat first. 16 for 1. After 3.3 overs is the score. The battle of the schools from the western region of the country. Kilembe Secondary School taking on Ontario School. Kilembe has won the toss and elected to bat first. Set 93 all out in 9.3 overs. The chase is on and Ontario score is at 5 for 2 after one over. Ladies and gentlemen, back to our game here at... Ginger SSP Fusion there from Pius Oloka to long off and they managed to pick a single. The batting side is looking to be so nice and they are trying to go hard on each and every ball that is coming their way. But the fielding side is also trying its best resist the batting side from scoring runs. They're trying to have more dot balls and the batting side is also trying so hard to have to have a boundary in each and every over. And that makes every team be on pressure. Now let's see what we good Good swing and some connection on the bat. The fielding wasn't so nice, but the recovery was good. He manages to send back the ball and doesn't allow them to take the third one. They got two singles of that delivery. Alian Steven is the bowler there bowling from Soga College Mwiri. Some good pace. Mwiri opened their bowling with spinners, having Nwagava Edwin, Ochaya Jaffa, and Fahad Mutagana. But now they have changed tactics a bit and they have introduced Aliano Steven to ball. Aliano Steven balls one wide. The ball races past the boundary. Those are five free runs our day to the batting side. Willie is but now starting to give out runs. But they started as a strong team in the beginning, making the batting side score more runs as much as needed. The baller gives out another wide. Starting from the crowds. Those runs. Um, a white ball is delivered by Steven. The crowd say, is it two way, is it two way? Glass very well, the chess is on. Nice to there, but the bat managed to get two runs. Mr. Sajabi, as in your observation, you think in says we put on how many on board? I think Jinjesus will bat and bat and bat hard, but they will not go past 150 runs. Why big like swing that? there, big appeal, but the umpire wasn't so interested. I think the ball hit the bat before hitting the pads. Mr. Ivan, why do you think that Ginger says we will score a 
below 150 because the fielding is good the fielding from the boys of Busoga College Mweri is very good and they will have to fight and make sure they limit them as much as they can and one thing I'm sure of is if Busoga College Mweri can try and eliminate one of these two batsmen Sheda Richard Opas Oloka the next batsman to come may be Mlongo Paul the rest of the batsmen that NGSS have can bat, but most of them are bowlers, so I don't want to send them to do too much work. In your observation, do you think will you come and chase the score? Because they are trying to take them so hard. Mweri is capable of chasing down the score because they have batsmen. They have players who play for the Victor who play for the baby cricket cranes. As you can see, one coming into the attacker there from the banana plantation and Farak Hadi Mutagana, who also doubles as the captain for the baby cricket cranes. One to the birds, big up people there, but the umpire Mr. Longe Baker is not interested. Says not out. Fadi Mutagana led the side as they went to the last alarm last month. The World Cup qualifiers. He's good with the bat, and now he's showing us that he's good with the ball as well. Dotting two and coming for the move to complete his over. So Hela Richard is doing so well that he's having third topper now in third one. But big swing up in the air, no field in that position. They want take two, but Soeda tells players, no, let it be one. Good bowling statistics there for Fadim Tagan. After bowling 2.3 overs, he has leaked only 15 runs and one wicket has been lost. And he has picked one wicket. Pass in the beginning was struggling yet. He's kind of good bat, but today I don't know why. What do you think was the problem? Indeed, Pass is a good bat who played for the Ebe Cricket Cranes as well in the last slam last month. But he made his debut in July with the Cricket Cranes. I think the pressure was coming from the coach. Coach Habib Mugalula may have told him, go and score as many runs as you can because when the Tempers came in, the score was in the 30s. And Coach Habib Mugalula believes in his players. So the pressure came with from the coach. Was the version of his pressure. He plays one past mid on and they managed to pick one run. Some fumbling there from the captain of Soka College, Edwin Waga, but he manages to recover and he sends it back quickly to make sure that they don't get a second run. I've liked the positivities of both sides because the batting side and the fielding side are doing so well to make their teams go better because everyone is by now fighting for the first position. Indeed. Game when Jinja, when Busoka College Mwiri was. And also, if you're on top, if you're on top of the table, chance will run out. Oh, they don't get. It. Like as I was saying, if you're on top of the table, you get number two in the other group. Not a very strong opponent. You go as the favorite. So every team will always look at winning and topping the table. And this being the ginger affair, the ginger derby, everyone will need to win this one for the bragging rights. Big swing there from pass all over. At fine leg. Ginger says is doing so well, but the fielding side is doing more better because they are trying to have more dot balls as Ivan side. The dot balls win the game. You have to make sure that you leave them as much as you can. Here are the predict. predict eh. Here yeah, the projected score is 130 runs. Now let's see whether Ginger says will come to the score. Eric Mukisa comes the back comes back into the attack for Soga College Mwiri from the Kampala Road end. 
But Isaac, what I've liked this time around from NSS, they used to lose more of the wickets, but they, today they have tried to be sticking on their wickets. I think they are growing so much in cricket. Indeed, too much concentration there is needed. And this being a big game and a derby, they'll make sure they do whatever it takes to win the game. One to the legs, and he blocks it away. So here Richard, the batsman there. Even we are remaining with eight overs to open now. Do you think Ginger says will hit the 26 as it's predicted here? Beautiful running there between the wickets and now pass Oloka is the man on strike. Pass Oloka swings that straight to the screen, but there is a fielder there from long offside. Oh they took only two runs. That was good fielding. Because you don't have to allow them to get many runs. Avon. Hey, when you used to go into bat, were you able to run like he's doing for now? Because that running somewhere in between there, showing that they are good in running in between the wickets. I used to take one at a time, and I wasn't that a, bad, a big hitter. But Melka stabilized the game. Before sure they are from pass, Oloka straight to covers. Conrad Ruama is there telling Pass Luka that you cannot run anywhere. But that marks the end of the 13th over. Well, waiting. So here, Richard, there is a left handed batsman. And I had you left handers because I know you're one of the left handers that we have in Uganda who plays for the baby Victoria Pulse. And we have. A lot of prospectors in you and optimism. We hope maybe one day you make it to the Victoria Pals. First tell me, how do you go over the balls? How do you left-handers manage to get runs? Me as a left-hander, um, we play the, the ball the way it has come. If it comes on the body, you'll be much hit, as you know left-handers. But if you play, if you ball in between our legs, it would be much so hard because we are not good in playing balls in our legs. But put the ball on our body, you face it hard. Wangaba Edwin, they are very disappointed in the field of Conrad Ruama because there was a chance for a catch. But it seems Conrad wasn't so much interested. And he gave out two runs to the batsman. I like the captain's energy that he's putting in. He sh he's, he's trying to push his team so hard that he's trying to, to tell them what, what, what's necessary to do in each and every team. Yes, it is. From you as a captain, you have to make sure that your team wins because of you. So everything you do has to be put on to the screen at long on site. But the fielder there was on spot and he gets the ball and hands it in right away. I love the way Sohela is swinging up his bat because he's making, he's, he's now in the game. He's enjoying, he's showing the love for the game. Pass Oloka, the under-19 player, is also doing his best to put some runs on the board. And he's doing some good rest out there. So here are Richard's contributions to the Ginger School team.
cannot go unmentioned. Oh, it was 164 runs. on him to win the game for him. We deliver there from Edwin Nawagava. The fielder looks to be Sorry, the wicketkeeper looks to be injured a bit, but he manages to get back to his legs and says it's a game for men. We play blood and soul. Let's get this rocking, guys. The captain is doing so well in there that he's not letting much of the balls go through him. The wicket keeper, sorry. Apparently, Edwin Wagaba is giving back to back wides. And the batting team will be so much interested in them. Big swing there from Zohera Richard. Oh, that was a chance for a catch. But it went over the fielder, Ochaya Jaffa. Six runs there for Sohera Richard. As you know, left handers with their natural shots, one of the borderline, and it is taken away. Sohela is now do doing so well that it is the second six he's hitting Nwagawa. That second six there for, from Sohera Richard marks the end of the 14th over and he pushes the score to 93 for a loss of two wickets. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to remind you that this tournament is proudly sponsored by Skyview. Every time we walk out of the comms box, they give us some bottles of Skyview and we keep sipping them, plus some crystal mineral water. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Skyview is sponsoring, Uganda Kita Station is sponsoring, EastEnders is sponsoring, and Deep End Sports Media is sponsoring the streaming of these games, as you can see, at your comfort, in your rooms, wherever you are. Maxairi comes back. Big swing from Pius Oloka. But a good feeling there at mid-wicket. Ochaya Jaffa sends it back. They manage to take two runs. But that was indeed good from Ochaya Jaffa. Two minutes shouting for him and telling him, Sawa Jaffa, Sawa Jaffa. Meaning he did so much to save the boundary and to save the two runs. Pass is trying to go hard on each and every ball that the feeding side is trying to appeal, appeal to the umpire, but umpire refuses to give him out. <coughs> Mokisa comes back with dot with dot asking Payas if he has a baby permit. He swings hard at one and he traces the boundary for four runs. Beautiful shot there from Pius Oloka. Paya Soroka is doing great the work that Coach Mugi has sent him to do. Swinging at everything that comes his way and pushing it out of the park. That is the third boundary and 34 for Paya Soroka. Ivan, hey these boys are doing so well that in these last overs they are going so hard that every ball they want it to the boundary. Well, indeed, they have to make sure that they send every ball to the boundary. Because that's how they get to win the games. We are into games of the innings. Sharifa. Ginger says... Sharifa. Ginger says he's now having 100 for 2 in 15 overs. 
as Ginger Zeus reaches the 100th mark of 100 for two in 15 overs. So Loka batting alongside Sohera Richard, first 28 of 25, and Sohera Richard, 40. Ladies and gentlemen, change. We shall break go sky off. And we shall revert shortly. Sandra and Shalfa will take over from us. Catch up. Thanks so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, those were uh, for these wonderful last five overs to go right here in Ginger Cricket Oval, right in Ginger Senior Secondary School. Here in the com box, I'm not alone. I'm here with Sharifa, who is going to keep us updated of what is ongoing right here in Ginger Senior Secondary School Cricket Oval. Sharifa, you're most welcome. Olipa comes to the attack from the banana uh, from the banana plantation side right in there for you coming with his spin making the two batters dance for you some good moves in there Sandra, right now I'm seeing the coaches outside and even the captains on pressure. <sighs> we are here, even surprised. We also don't know, but we are here waiting which team is going to win because it's like a, fi a, a final. Because we know both teams, Ginger SS and Sugar College, Mwili, both are strong teams. So right now, I don't know, I don't even know tell you but I'm seeing pressure on both teams what do you say about them well well as per now uh Uh, it was supposed to be a wicket, but because of misfielding between Conrad and another Conrad and Modola, it was supposed to be a catch, but I don't know what's wrong with them. Pressure, pressure. So they need to come down. Right now, all look at it. Because of misfielding, that's why he's still there. Some good spot bowling there by Olipa, trying to give him some good spin. Putting in some good variations and making the batter's life hard right in there. Making Oloka together with Shoera Richard's life a little bit harder. So ladies and gentlemen, as you keep watching cricket live, you can grab for yourself Skyview Soda. You can grab Crystal Water for yourself. As you keep watching the game live, good swing, big, big swing there. Sending that ball for another six of the day. Some good energies from Oloka Pires ending that over in style, making Olipa go for one big six after delivering his five good balls. He tells Olipa, All of us will play for baby cricket cranes let's see how strong you are mentally and how strong am i physically yeah but now 110 i invite all people to 
get you can come and share with your guys. So Sharifa, according to how you are viewing the game so far, Ginger S is having 110 uh, for the loss of two wickets in 16 overs down. So in the last four overs, do you think uh, Ginger S will be in position to score 40 runs over uh, four overs? Like if they don't lose any wicket, if Oloka and Soela stays there, if they stick on their wickets, it will be it will be very possible for them. If they stick on their wickets, cause I uh, you know these bowlers which they are bringing, they are just giving extras. So what I advise is Oloka and his pattern to stick on their wickets. They are too for them to score like 140. So do you think uh, Busoga College Muri, when they come in to chase the runs that Ginger SS is trying to put for them on board, do you think they'll come and chase it with ease or they'll love to be uh, also having uh, more energy so that they can chase the runs? What I know about Busoga College Muri on their side of batting, like they no pressure on them. They have good batsmen, and for them, when they come, they come with the aim of hitting from the first ball. They just want to make runs run. Some good chess there from the two fielders, as you can see, some good athleticism from the batters in there. Some good spell in there, right as you can see, the fielder is trying to stop that ball with a lot of energy and sending it right back to the bowler. Yeah, right now I'm seeing the captain changing, changing positions. They are setting for Oloka Pius, but even Oloka is ready to face Conrad. Conrad is coming from Kampala Lord End. I'm seeing big sixes, big sixes from our boys. It's a very, very big hit from Oloka Pius. He's managed to hit the ball. In the umpire calls up for a six. Yeah, I'm seeing people outside cheering up their boys. You can also come and enjoy and cheer up. It's like Ginger SS OBs and OGs versus Ginger versus Busoga, Busoga College Moili OBs because I'm seeing here supporters. Wow, a look at players. Seeing here, not leaving balls. Yeah, like you want runs two two, no wastage of balls being there that you want seeing or no two two. The score right now is one hundred twenty three. Yet Ginger SS right now they want one hundred forty. Some good ball placing right in there. And some good work, good energies from the two batters, right? Diving so very hard, trying to defend his house. 
and that marks the end of the over number 17 124 for the loss of two wickets Shohera Richard together with Oloka Pires right in there battling for Ginger Senior Secondary School as you can see they are now unlocking their elbows and trying to eat, to hit each and everything that they are, that they are trying to deliver for them It's really a very nice and uh, lovely weather right here in Jinja for these beautiful games. The two teams battling themselves in the middle right in there for Jinja Cricket Oval. Fahab coming back to the attack from the banana plantation side. As you can see, he's trying to plan on how he can break this partnership of Oloka Pires together with Shohera Richard and trying to set his pitch. And as you can see around, uh, the spectators are really very happy and they are really, really seeing some nice and very interesting shots right here in Ginger Cricket Oval. I believe you who is also following the game right outside there on your TV, on your phone. I believe you're really enjoying the two teams that are battling themselves right here. Oh, that was good running between the wickets, between the two batsmen. Pressure, pressure on the two teams but Pius is trying to show to Fahad that you man we are from the world we both prayed for Uganda in Tanzania so let me show you uh. Fifty up for Oloka Pires. So far, Oloka Pires has managed to hit fifty runs of thirty-three balls. So Ella Alicia had forty-eight of forty-six balls. So Ella just needs two runs to make a half essentially, and the score is one hundred twenty-seven per now. I think Ginger SS. They might put there 130 or like 130 something for for Busoga College Mwili. If Oloka and Suela stay there on their wickets, they will give something to the team. I'm seeing Fahad trying to set up a field for Sohela because he's a left hander. And you know what? Left handers are very difficult. A swing and a miss from Shohera Richard right in there as he tries to shape that if I'd played that ball in this way, maybe I would have pushed for two and I also raised my bat after scoring a half century. Some good good delivery there from Fahab. 127 for the loss of two wickets. The two batters right in there for Ginger Senior Secondary School. Sending that ball very, very hard. Unlocking their arms and running so very fast. As you can see, he also, he's also there raising up his bat. The, the spectators around are very, very happy with what they are seeing. Because the two gentlemen, the two gentlemen who are right in there, all of them are now in 50s. A half century for the day for you as you keep following the game live here in Ginger Cricket Over. Also, Sohela Lishad has made up his half century having 50. And after her, after making up 50, I'm seeing big hits from him. Right now, I also want to make another big 50. Another 50 to make 100. 
The score right now is 131 in 18.0. So let us see in that one over whether Ginger SS will be able to score 140. To put their 140 for Usoga College Muyiri. But don't forget to grab yourself with sky view, crystal water. Same time, you can wash you if you know if like you're far from ginger or you're in Bujili, Kampara. When you're far, you can go on YouTube, search Deep End Sports Media with their Sky View Schools Cricket Week 2023. like to thank all our sponsors Skyview, Crystal Waters, Deep End Sports Media and East Enders Sports Hub You've, and Uganda Cricketers Association you have already you have done a very good job and ICC thanks for your support Usoga College Moyili brings another batsman, sorry, sorry, another bowler, Ochaya. First ball from Ochaya was a click, so Oloka Pias is out. Though he's out, but at least has did something for the team. I'm seeing on the side of Usoga College, they are happy because they wanted Oloka's, they wanted Oloka's wicket. So it's 131 for the loss of three wickets. Let us see. Yeah, Ginger Senior Secondary School brings in another batsman. Nilo Jonathan. Seeing him swinging his bat. And I know what I know about Jonathan that uh, for him thinks about batting. He's good at hitting sixes, fours, fours. Let me see in this last over what he will put there. Because Ginger SS, they say that they want to, though they want a 200, but it's not right now possible for them. But what I know, they can at least put there 140. Right now it's 131 and the last over. Let me, we, we think a local will. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, umpire calls up for Wade from Ochaya pushing the score of Ginger SS to 132. After that wide delivery, as you can see, the man comes in with a lot of energies and with the mind of hitting everything. After facing the first ball, he sends that ball with a lot of energy to the boundary. Back to back boundaries. Oloka Pius after sending the ball with a lot of energy. I beg your pardon, Nero Jonathan was just walked in facing the first ball and sending it to the boundary around the cow corner side. The second ball still wants to go very hard but finds a very sharp fielder there, very angry for wickets and grabs his catch right in there. He goes out after facing two balls having four runs near <laughs> Jonathan scored six runs of two balls was caught by 
Ruwama Conrad. Boundary fielder and bowled by Ochaya. Ninja SS sets in another ball, another batsman, and that's their captain, Mrong Po. Mulongo Paul comes with a lot of energy after yesterday scoring a duck. Another run out there for Ginger Senior Secondary School. Shoera Richard finally goes out after scoring 52 of 50 balls. He has really contributed to his team and that is Ginger Senior Secondary School. Good celebration from Muiri Senior Secondary School. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, one cause for the other. After breaking the partnership, after the fall of the wicket, Oloka Payas had to call his friend, whom he has been making with a very good partnership of a hundreds. He calls Shoera Richard and my brother Kamu Rest as we plan to go and defend our runs right in there. Timothy comes in to attack in those two remaining balls. On the only remaining with one run to make 140. Good delivery from Ochaya. No run so far from Wanguzi Timothy. Sorry from Rongpo. Another chance was given in there right from the captain himself. But unfortunately, the ball gets off the fielder's hand. And that was the end of the over number 19. We have only last six balls to end the first innings. Mulongo Paul together with Mua Muanguzi. Those are the two gentlemen battling right in there and finishing the last over for Ginger Senior Secondary School right here in Ginger Cricket Oval. That was a very, very good bowling, sport bowling right in there by Gerald Olipa, who plays for Baby Cricket Crane right here in Uganda. <laughs> Everything is going with power, as you can see. They're trying to sprint so very hard. And a very, very good pickup from Fahab right down there in Longon. Trying to save every boundary for Olipa Gerald. Another chance they are given for the catch, but the ball leaves the field a little bit behind. And there they push for another run. It was supposed to be a catch and a wicket because of misfielding between the fielders. A swing and miss from Rongpo. The wicket keeper did his job. A 
very good work right in there as you can see in the dugouts everyone is happy for the two teams because they are displaying a very very nice skills right in there from the ball and the bat and that has marked the end of the first innings 20 overs being played 148 set by ginger essence for the loss of five wickets so ladies and gentlemen that has marked the end of our first innings we shall leave you a little bit as we wait for the second innings to come up as you can grab for yourself skyview crystal water as you wait for the second innings to come very shortly This is the match summary of our game. Ginger Senior Secondary School, Richard Sowela scored 52 of 50 balls. Oloka Payal scored 50 of 34 balls. Bagaga Hassan scored 10 of 15 balls. We keep on reminding you guys to grab yourself with Skyview, whether you're in sitting room, office, anywhere, hospital, you feel like you're not okay, thirsty, the only solution there for you is Skyview, Skyview and Crystal Water. If you think, if you're there and like you're not okay, feeling headache, such things, just grab yourself with Skyview. Skyview, it's a way to everything. It's like medicine, Skyview, and crystal waters. Ladies and gentlemen, that marked the end of the first innings. So we'll be back soon for the second innings. And that will be Busoga College batting. And they only need 149 in 20.0 overs to win this game so we'll be back soon
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the second innings of the game. We are live at Jinja Senior Secondary School Cricket over the tournament proudly sponsored by Skyview. Uganda Cricket Association, EastEnders, and Deep End Sports Media. Games are streaming live there at Deep End Sports Media, ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you are. You can sit at your comfort. You can sit in your bedding room. You would be in your car and you make sure that you could tap the updates here at Jinja Senior Secondary School. We are back for our second innings. Remember Jinja, remember Soka College Mwiri, the, Mwiri won the toss and they opted to bowl first. Came into the game with a lot of hopes of limiting Jinja SS to scoring only 8 runs. Unfortunately, Jinja SS managed to get 148 runs for a loss of 5 wickets in 5 overs. Big contribution is there from the opening batsman, Soera Richard, the left-hander, who managed to get 52 runs of 50. And first Oroka also got 50 of 34. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sajab Ivan Cyprian, and I am not alone in the commentary box. It's Kamaten, is Patricia back in the comms box. Welcome back, Kamaten, is Patricia to the commentary box. What should we expect in the game? Is Jinges just defending the score, or we will have a comfortable walk in the park to get this to the hill? I can't predict <laughs> since the, the game uh, like the game hasn't started yet. But I know geniuses can defend this because if they put in if they put in more efforts, these guys can manage to defend the runs. The first ball sends the message. Arafat Masinde is the bowler there coming into the attack. Sorry. Nilo Jonathan is the bowler there coming into the attack for Ginger Senior Secondary School. He will face the Muru opposition who have decided to open their batting with Nwagawa Edwin and Olipa Gerald. Nwagawa Edwin played on the under-19 team last year. Olipa Gerald plays on the under-19 team, the Baby Cricket Cranes. This year he was a very instrumental and good batsman as the team was in the last round for the qualifiers. <coughs> First ball from Nilo Jonathan goes wide. Not a very good message since the first ball sends the message. But which what do you make of the good deliver of the first delivery? Jonah deli if Jonah is delivering a white ball in the in his first over, there is no pressure yet. I think he's on pressure. Jonah being a youngster who also plays for the under nineteen team, the baby cricket cranes. He also played in the last alarm a couple of games. Maybe he's trying to look for the juicy areas where he can put his ball. Comes back. Ball is another one. But the umpire says it is a good ball. People are here cheering seriously for the Junior SS cricket team. And Jonah is really trying to, is really working hard to ball his his line in his line and here the batsman is back i think the batsman is kind of scared of jonah's pace another good delivery from jonah the batsman is kind of scared as you see he's trying to shape out the he's trying to shape out what he could have been doing there in the field Today is really a good day, really, really a hot day here. It's like coaches versus coaches, coach Issa versus coach Mugi. As you see, these boys are really bowling on money. Jonah is really bowling on money. As you see, even his students are really proud, clapping, giving him hand claps here. Adrenaline is very high here at Jinjas' cricket over for the fielders and the supporters. Cheering Nero Jonathan as he continues to dot the ball. A lot of noise here. People saying that is the line. Keep it there. Tova wow. Come on. Ginger Dabby here. 
Mino Jonathan Bones, a quick one. The uh, batsman doesn't make any connection. Olipa General the Opona. But he has hopes. He knows loud bowlers will come in as the game moves on. So you mean there are some lousy bowlers on a team? I don't mean there are some lousy bowlers on the team, but always in schools, cricket teams, there will be that bowler. <laughs> Feel good fielding, good fielding from the captain himself, Mlongo Paul. Fields that one very nicely at covers, but Olipa Gerald Opuna manages to take the strike. He is off the duck. He picks a single and he pushing the score to two for no loss in the first year over. A swing and a miss there from Captain Edwin Wagawa, and that marks the end of the first over. Two for no loss after the first over here at Jinja Senior Secondary School Cricket Over. It's Jinja Senior Secondary School and Busoga College Mwiri. And here we see who is going to head the table. As both. Well, well, this 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 game decides a lot. It decides on who comes as number one from Group A. New man into the attack there for Ginger Senior Secondary School is Ochen Peter, the boy from Soroti. Chairman Felix Musana, the chairman Soroti Cricket Academy, must be proud of the lad. Because he's an academy graduate of South Cricket Academy, but now he's in Coach Mogola's books, tactics, and dugout. Nero balls one. It is glanced away nicely by Gerald Olipa Opuna, and they managed to pick a single. Ocheni Peter, they are bowling very well for his side. He bowls some good pace and he is also a player on the baby cricket cranes. He was in Dar es Salaam last month as we were playing in the under 19 World Cup qualifiers. Big swing there. Ball in the air, chance for a catch. So Hera Richard makes that look easy. So Hera Richard takes a very beautiful catch and that was the first wicket for Ginger senior secondary school the captain Edwin Wagawa wanted to take charge he went hard left it in the air and it landed into the safe hands of Zohera Richard one wicket gone the runs on board and Ginger SS Fielders, the adrenaline is very high. They feel the game is on. They feel they are on the game. And they feel they are winning this one. Ginger Senior Secondary School is trying to get every ball. They are trying to get chance. Every chance that is give, being given to them, they are really trying to get the chances and see Edwin is out. We don't know what they are planning. Ochen Peter gets that wicket and as you see they are still celebrating. Pius tries to talk to him. Nice moment there for the team. Nice moment there for the boys. As they pick their first wicket. Nice catch there from Sohera Richard. Off a chain, Peter's bowling. The boy from Soroti. The academy graduate of Soroti Cricket Academy.
the captain for the baby cricket cranes is in at number 3 to bat for Soka College Mwiri Fahad Mutagana he laid the side to Dar es Salaam and now here he is to answer a couple of questions last time Fahad Mutagana played against Jinja SS was last year during the semi final of this particular tournament before Skyv became the sponsors he made a very good knock where he scored 92 and he led his team to the finals Fadi Mtagana there very formidable batsman good at cutting the ball and playing everything in the money zone now he had to answer questions as a chain plays asking him for the driving permit but a negative answer Cuts one straight the hands of the fielder and the captain Mulongo Paul and he manages to field that one so nicely, making cricket look easy. Indeed, these fielders are making cricket so easy for them. As you see, um, Ochen Peterson trying to bowl on money as, you, as well as the batsmen are really eager to hit balls that are coming their way. As you see, he's running, coming into attack. Another bouncer. Beautiful bouncer there, but the umpire signals wide. I think it was way from the batsman. Later on today in the morning, I had a chat with Fahad Mutagana. <coughs> and in the chat we had, Fahad was telling me that, look, this is the game we have to win to stay on, to remain on top of the table. And look for our ticket into the finals. Ochen Peter comes, puts it in Fadi's zones. Fad cuts it. But Mulongo Paul is there to stop the ball. They do not take any run. Uh, Ivan, what do you have to say, Coach Isa versus Coach Mugi? What do you think they are on right now? Both coaches are very good. Coach Isa is a very good coach. Coach Mugalo is a good coach as well. And something we don't take for granted. But it, there is some jumps, some cut fielding. The ball is always past the boundary and the umpire will indicate four runs. Twelve for one. Sorry, eight for one after two overs. Some cut jumping skills there from the batsmen to try and make sure that they get the runs that are required. Apparently, Jinja, sorry, Soka College Mwiri needs 141 runs from 180 balls. Well, Patricia, as I was telling you, Coach Mogi is a very good coach, and so is Coach Isanez. So, here is time for their players to speak volumes for them. I see both coaches are really proud of their players. They all they all think they will have a win. Yes, needs a win as well as the Muirians. So let's just wait, watch the game from anywhere you are. Just buy data, watch online, We're on our social media platforms. Only pound strike. Here comes Nero Jonathan again. Delivers a good ball. And Jonathan is such a good bowler. As you see, being he is playing for the under-19 team. They recently went in Tanzania. Bats may look to be on pressure, as you see. Ivan, what would you do if you were playing for Mwiri? And this is what is happening. This is the bowling that is happening. Well, indeed, pressures have to come in because 
the balls are closing in quickly and the runs are still many but that way delivery from from you know Jonathan is a freebie and the batsman will love to take it and will be very happy for it the batsmen have a lot to do having nine after just 2.2 overs they need 140 runs in 106 balls you know, balls it on the money, big swing. But Olipa Gerald does not make any connection on that one. As you know, as any extras can make one win, what do you have to talk about these bowlers here? Because they're really bowling many extras. Well, well, well. The extras can make you lose the game. So they have to Concentrate and make sure they put the balls in the money zones because every time you bowl the ball away or oh, away from the wide mark, you give free runs. Olipa Gerald, the opener respecting the pace from Nero Jonathan as he is not trying to swing at everything because he knows the bowlers to give him the runs that are coming soon. Ochen, as he manages to get a dirty ball. It's near Jonathan into... One onto the body lane. Fad goes hard for it. But it is fielded by the by nicely there by the fielders who are looking sharp. The captain himself fielding at gully area, trying to stop the balls from going past him. Well, Patricia, I love captains who field from inside the circle. What do you make of the captain's position, Mulongo Paul? Chance and taken. Ginger Senior Secondary School get rid of Fahad Mtagana. Fahad cuts that one. But the fielder the fielder at third man gets that one comfortably to his, to his hands. Celebration moment for Ginger Senior Secondary School and the pressure moment for Soka College Muri as they lose a big wicket. Indeed, it's a very big wicket. And you know, whenever these guys are getting out, now look at Fad. When we look at also Gerard Nwagaba, they are putting their batting team on uh, pressure because they are one of the big hitters of the team. So, as the is still celebrating, I think their coach is really proud of them. As you see that the, the energy has really increased, I think. From uh, around uh, 40 to, I think they are around 80 percent. They are really happy for that wicket that has just fallen. Well, you can't fail to celebrate a big wicket like that one of Fahad Mtagana. Fahad is a very big hitter for the side. Gives out a catch. And out he goes. That was a very beautiful catch there from Bagaga Hassan. 
Fadi Mtaga na will walk out very disappointed because he believed he would have scored a little, a lot more for his side, Busoka College Muiri, and maybe would be the guy to help them win. But after facing eight deliveries, he scored only eight runs. Fielders for Virginia State Secondary School feel the game is on. But trust me, if Olipa Gerald is still in there, he can do a lot of damage to the side. Olipa Gerald is a very good batsman who can make sure that he helps his team win. The gentleman who has just walked in right now, it's Ochaya Jaffa. He, he looks around the field trying to see where which gap can he put the ball to get more runs for the team. He's really ready to smash balls here. As you see, his body language, it's really, really, really positive. And you know these guys, Dinyaya says they are... Inyesis's fielding is really quite strong. As you see, they are really trying to stop every ball that comes their way. Ochaya Jaffa there, the new man from Soga College Mwiri, also plays for the baby cricket cranes, call it the under-19 team. Very much respect us for him because he is good with the ball and he is good with the bat. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway at Jinja Senior Secondary School Cricket Oval. Four overs gone here. 14 for 2 is the score from wherever you're watching in. Nero Jonathan comes back there to ball for Jinja Senior Secondary School. Oripa Jaldon straight comfortably waiting for him to come. Pitches one in the good zones. And the Olipa Gerald says we are not here to play every ball. Maybe we'll be looking at maximizing on the receding ball. It's 135 needed in 15.5 overs, and those are 95 balls that Muiri needs. Well, if Musoka College Muiri is to win this game, they have to be operating at a run rate of at least 9 runs per over. Very beautiful running there between the wickets, and they rotate the strike very well. The batsman seems not to see the ball that is being delivered to him. And he just has to work on his side. Chance for a run out there, but beautiful running between the wickets. They managed to steal a single. The batsman running very nicely here and making the game look interesting. Well, Nino Jonathan is coming in with some good pace, some good speeds, and the batsman just looking on at his balls. Ivan, Ivan, I, I wonder, I wonder how the batsman is doing there, cause the quickness of this bowler. 
is really really very fast i wonder if i was there i don't know what i don't know i think i would have run all oh, the balls i i wonder first told me for the batsman they are facing this speedy pace bowler what would you do really well 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 you met him as a batsman I used to play medium pace, but I wasn't good at playing those fast balls because I remember my first David were with at the hill. And you got my wicket with so much ease. But ladies and gentlemen, that is another wicket. The third wicket for Ginger Senior Secondary School as they get rid of Olipa Gerald Opuna. Olipa went in for that one with lazy hands. Stood the hands of the wicket keeper, Muangozi. And out he goes. That is indeed a celebration for the for Ginger SS. As you see, they are really proud of getting that. Five, you are alive. Only Pajarad scores three runs off 16 balls. Called by Mwanguzi and called by Nero Jonathan. Mwanguzi is a very good wicket keeper. It look easy because everything else. I can only go your get up. Take it. You know me? Hey. Five overs are good here at Ginja. Senior secondary school. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently, allow me to inform you that Musoka College Mwiri is struggling a bit since they have 16 runs for a loss of three wickets. They need 133 runs in 90 balls with the seven wickets they have at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, our sky view is getting warm, and I think it's high time for us to go and take our sky view. Change in the comment box as we are joined in by the Baby Victoria Pulse player and so is the Cricket Club player, Sandra Achao. Thanks so very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for being live, uh, watching cricket live here in Ginger Senior Secondary School Oval. As you can see, the two teams battling themselves together, uh, Ginger Senior Secondary School versus Busoga College Mwiri, they are trying to battle up everything, making Busoga College Mwiri, making things so very tight and uncomfortable for them. They have picked so far three wickets for Busoga, uh, Busoga College Mwiri. So in the com box, I'm here with Hope, Hope Baser, who is going to keep you updated of what is ongoing right here in Ginger Cricket Overground. Hope you're most welcome. Thank you, Achao Sandra. Ochaya, Jaffa, and Modola Ediga batting for Soga College Mwiri. Ochaya, Jaffa on strike and non strike is Modola Ediga. 18 runs on board for three in 5.2 overs. Soga College Mwiri needs 131 runs from 14.4 overs. Chain Peter bowling the 60th over for Ginger Essence coming from the coming from the Kampala Road end. All right, the fielder right in there who is fielding around the third man seems to be injured after trying to stop that ball that was running so very quick. And as you can see, they're trying to give him some first aid. So ladies and gentlemen, things are really very, very tight right here in Ginger Senior Secondary School. I believe you're truly enjoying the two teams battling themselves as a weary they have already lost their three wickets in 6.2 overs, having only 18 runs on board. Uh, 
and Sandra. We all know very well that Busoga College Mwiri has been the champion of their school's trophy. Do you think this time round they'll make it? Uh, according to how the wickets are falling so very fast because the captain himself is out, Fahab, whom they trust with a bat together with Olipa, who is one of the top scorers so far, is not scoring for uh, his school for today. So I don't think they will be in position to top the table and being still the defending champion for the second year. Busoga College Mwiri Nwagaba Adrian out. He scored zero of two balls. And he got caught by Sohela Richard and the bowler was Ochen Peter. Olipa Gerard, he scored three of 16 balls, got caught by the wicketkeeper Mwangsi Timothy. And the bowler was Nero Jonathan. Mutagana Fahad scored eight of eight balls, got caught by Bagaga Hassan and the bowler was Ochen Peter. And right now we are having Ochaya, Jaffa, and Mudola Ediga, who are still trying to push and score runs for Mwiri. Ochaya Jaffa is having three of six balls and Mudola Ediga zero of zero. Usoga College Mwiri's run rate still stands at 3.38. Some very good delivery there from Peterson Ochen, giving Ochaya some hard time to stay in the wicket right in there. Ochaya is trying to stand so very hard for his team since the big hitters are right out and the people whom they trust with the bat, the people who play for baby cricket crane, the under 19. So he's trying so very hard to stand out to make sure that at least he protects his wicket. Ochen Peterson doing a great work down there. He delivers the ball and Ochaya Jaffa fails to get contact on that one. Pressure is still mounting in the dressing rooms of Busoga College Mwiri after the fall of their top order batsmen. Some good delivery there but by Peterson Ocean. Ochaya tries to knock it straight to covers, but was very, very fielded by the fielder right in there in covers and sending it trying to hunt back to the bowler's end, but unfortunately finds the batsman already there, taking no risk of give of giving another chance for the week. Beautiful delivery there from Ochen Peterson and Ochaya Jaffa is bold. Celebrations there. Ginger says is so excited about this wicket. Ochaya, ja uh, Ochaya works out very, very disappointed as you can see some good celebration and right there in the dugouts as you can see the players themselves are very, very disappointed as you can see the way they are seated down there at the dugout. Some good celebration from Ginger Senior Secondary School since they are picking very, very big wickets for Muiri Senior Secondary School. 
Ochaya Jaffa scored three of ten and got bowled out by Ochen Peter and his score his run rate was thirty point zero zero. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live right here in the Budo of Cricket, live here in Ginger Senior Secondary School of uh, Coming back to attack a wicket is a Nero, Nero Jonathan coming from the banana plantation side, coming to give us Coming into batters number six for Soga College, Mwiri is Lovuama Conrad. The score is 18 for four in 6.0 overs. Busoga College, Mwiri still needs 131 runs from 14.0 overs. End of the power play showed by Mr. Umpire Elonge Becker right in there for you. Mudola comes in. Some very, very good delivery there. And he falls down giving a very good celebration to Ginger Senior Secondary School. Ladies and gentlemen, here is total fire. Ginger Senior Secondary School is really, really very ready and serious for Soga College Mweri, as you can see the morale that they're having, plus the fans who are giving them a lot of morale, making the best bowlers, trying to punish the batters right in there by giving them the good bouncers, good lines, trying to put the balls on the merit and making sure that they don't attempt with anything like hitting the balls. Very good bouncer there. But the batsman is still struggling since he's very new in the wicket. Mudola comes in and is one on the strike. Facing two balls without getting any other run. Ochen Peter trying to talk with Nero Jonathan. That man, you're doing a very great job. But still the batsman in there is telling Nero Jonathan, come back to the same pace. Any day we shall go. Beautiful drive shot there from Mudola Ediga, and he scored one of that ball. The score is 19 for four in 6.3 overs. So, hope as you have seen the first inning uh, and together the second inning. Now that uh, Busoga College Mori is trying to chase the runs, plus the runs needed, and that is 130 of 130 runs needed. Do you think they can get them when they are chasing runs and giving out their wickets so early like this? I don't think they can chase that score when they are giving out their wickets just like that. Beautiful delivery there from Nero Jonathan. Nice fielding from Longopo. He stops that one and no run made there. The score is eight. The score is twenty for four in six point three overs.
beautiful delivery there from Nero Jonathan. Conrad swings his bat and misses it, but the keeper fails to stop that one, and they manage to score two runs. It seems like the keeper needs to add in some height for him to get the bouncers on merit. As you can see, the two batters in there are trying to battle themselves to make sure that at least they try and push and chase the runs. 27 runs needed. So ladies and gentlemen, we are right here in Budo of Cricket, right here in Jinja Senior Secondary School Cricket Oval. That marks the end of the seventh over. The score still stands 22 for four in 7.0 overs. Mwiri, Busoga College Mwiri still needs 127 runs in 13.0 overs. Uh, Achao. Uh, we all know very well that last time when Usoga College Mwiri was playing Masaka SS, the game was a bit tight. The game was so challenging that when all these guys of Usoga College Mwiri, their batsmen that they trust were all down, Conrad was there to stand in and lifted his team up and they were able to win uh, that game. Do you think he will do the same here? Will he lift up his team? Uh, to me, uh, I may say he might not make it because uh, Ginger S's have so far four to five players who are playing for Baby Cricket Crane, of which they're having a lot of experience more than the players of Masaka Senior Secondary School. Because I believe in Masaka, it's only either the captain who has some good experience about cricket. All right. Coming to ball the eighth over for Ginger SS, coming from the Kampala Road End is Kunsa Cyrus. Lubwama Conrad watching his pitch. I think he's thinking where to put that ball. Beautiful delivery there from Kunsa Cyrus and Conrad misses that one. And the keeper was able to save it. Noran made the, the score is still 23 for four in 7.2 overs. So far, the, balls, uh, th the ballers of Ginger Senior Secondary School is trying to do sport bowling, stamp to stamp bowling. As you can see, they are trying to attack the stamps. But Lubwana, the gentleman who the gentleman who was on strike, trying to tell them that I can get that single as I keep my pressure going down, because I believe they are those ballers who are going to first come and give me some loop balls and I'll utilize them with ease. Swing and miss there from Modola Ediga. And the keeper saves that one. No run made there. Ginger SS boys with positive energies here. Beautiful drive shot there. Poor communication.
chance of a run out, but he goes back quick in his crease. Yeah, it was really a chance for the run out for Ginger Senior Secondary School to pick another wicket for Busoga College Mwiri. But unfortunately, he finds the batter very fit on the legs and he goes back. Some good hits there. Goes straight, as you can see, good chess from the fielder right in there. But the ball goes and leaves the boundary. Adding another four runs on top of 24, making 28. Beautiful shot there from Mudola Ediga. Pushing the score to 28 for four in eight overs. And that marks the end of the eighth over. Musoga College Muiri still needs 121 runs from 12.0 overs. Busoga College, Muiri's run rate still stands at 3.50. Coming to ball the ninth over for Ginger SS is Oloka Pius. Mudola Ediga requesting for another bird. It seems the one he's having is not doing it better for him. Let's see if this one will. Luwama Conrad on strike. The bowler asks the batsman, do you really have a driving permit? But some good spell there from the bowler trying to put the ball in the right spot. But Conrad was not in position to drive that ball or even getting any single run from him as you can as you can see him walking back to his run up coming back to deliver another ball a swing and a miss trying to cut the ball but unfortunately he fails to cut he fails to contact the bat and a ball and the b a ball going straight to the wicket keeper's gloves before he realizes Remaining questioning himself that what can I really do for such a ball and how can I really chase the runs so that we can win this game for Ginger Senior Second. Chance for a catch there. The fielder fails to get that one. And Conrad manages to get one of that delivery. Pushing the score to 29 for 4 in 8.3 overs. A swing and miss there from Modola Ediga. 
he tries to play the cut short but he doesn't connect it the keeper saves that one and no run made there Another swing and miss there from Mudola Ediga, and the ball goes over the keeper. The umpire calls it's a by run. Thirty runs so far after the loss of four wickets in eight point five overs. Pius Oloka. But gentlemen coming from the banana side, giving that two batters in their hard time um, and questioning themselves of what is happening with the balls that they're facing. Some good appeal from the fielders, as you can see, the good energies, the good vibe around Ginger Cricket Oval, around the dugouts. As you can see, the fans trying to support their players right in here in Ginger Cricket Oval. Kusa Cyrus back into their attack to bowl the 10th over for Ginger SS coming from the Kampala Road End. Kusoga College, Mwiri needs 119 runs from 10.0 overs. Beautiful drive shot there from Mudola Ediga. The two bigger teams battling themselves, the Ginger Derby. As you can see, Mwiri, who is the defending champion last year, taking that trophy. But this year, Ginger Senior Secondary School comes with a lot of energy, telling Mwiri that, my friend, we are all from Ginger, but we, we have, have to display now our skills and our energies right in there. As you can see, a chance for the catch, but the ball goes past the fielder and drops right in front of the fielder as they make two runs right in there. chance for a run out there but the recovery of the wicket keeper was a bit slow and they managed to get that one run successfully pushing the score to 34 for 4 in 9.3 overs Swing and miss there from Modola Ediga. And the keeper saves that one. No run made there.
the bowler asking the batsman, do you really have a driving permit? The batsman really replies that one with a yes by driving that ball in covers there and it goes for four. That ball has been dr driven so nicely straight there in long off, adding another four runs on top. Mudola together, together with Conrad battling right in there for Busoga College Muiri. That marks the end of the tent over there. The score is 38 for 4 in 10.0. Busoga College Mwiri needs 111 runs from 10.0 overs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are really, really happy to be here in Budo of Cricket right here in Jinja Senior Secondary School, right in Jinja Cricket Oval, as we go out and sip some cool sky view fruity for ourselves. But we shall leave you right here with Whitney together, Ivan Sajabi. Thank you so much, Sandra, for welcoming me back from the commentary box. Ladies and gentlemen, I've already sipped my sky view. I took a few bottles, but now I'm back into the comms box. If Busoka College Mwiri is to win this particular game, they need 111 runs in 60 balls. Unfortunately, it looks impossible, though nothing is impossible in cricket. But there was a very nice running between the wickets. And the batsmen have kept ticking the score. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined in by the director, East Enders, Mr. Imaka Isaac. Here with him, he will be telling us what he makes of the game as we proceed with the commentary. Isaac, you're welcome to the commentary box. It's a good game, electric, everyone is, uh, is happy, everyone has brought out their all, all students and all bees are all here screaming and shouting, and that's a good thing. Well, as this enders, we welcome everyone to Ginger, uh, the home of cricket. Uh, we nicknamed this place uh, the Hyderabad. Uh, East enders, we are promoting cricket in uh, Busoga region. We want to take cricket to the villages so that we, we the attract crowds and, whoa, is that a four? Whoopsie. Wow, wow that was so ballsy of the bowler. Uh, so East Enders, we promoting cricket and uh, ensuring that the parents understand the game so that the parents can come here and support their kids. Uh, we want to change the tradition where cricket is only watched by cricketers. Uh, we have a few people coming over because most people don't understand the game. Uh, so, one of the things that we are pushing so hard for is is, is to to take cricket to the dining tables uh, of, 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 of of homes and, and 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 in trading centers to be discussed by people so that people can be coming. The way you, same way we see you see with football. Well, Isaac, the contributions that you have on Ugandan cricket cannot go unnoticed. But I would like you to tell me, as East Enders, are you dealing in only cricket, or you have other avenues, maybe some other perks? Mission is first of all free. Uh, it's and as we do more than cricket, we have uh, golf, uh, we have uh, swimming, we have boxing, uh, we have tennis. And uh, starting fourth uh, next month, we are having a camp for uh, between seven years old, uh, six years old to eighteen. Will be they will be coming over 
to do another bound. No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't go to a bound yet. Uh, we have a camp where we have called all uh, kids in primary schools, people below below 18 years old, to come and learn golf, to come and learn t tennis, to come and learn cricket. If you're there and you have all game makers uh, disturbing you at home, or I mean, who are just watching TV, send them over to Ginger ASS Cricket Oval if you want them to do cricket. Send them send, send, send them to Ginger Golf Club so they can learn tennis and, and golf and swimming. Well, also Isaac, as I was moving around the place, as I was moving around Ginger, people have been telling me that East Enders moves hand in hand with Busoga Today News. I'd like you to help me clarify on this before I let you go and enjoy your game. Well, uh, East Enders, uh, well, we're we on a mission to, to change, we're on a mission to change uh, Busoga, we're on a mission to, to help the youngsters achieve more. So, yes, we, we move hand in hand with Busoga today because Busoga today, uh, journalism or a, a, a news being a public good, so is sports. Uh, sports is also a public good. So we move hand in hand as we push the mission to turn around the fortunes of Busoga through information and through sports. Thank you so much, Isaac. Let me let you go and you enjoy your game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our chat with Isaac does not stop the action at GSD Secondary School Cricket Oval. 102 runs are needed by the boys from the hill, by the Leopards, if they are to overcome the Meite School and win this one. Nine overs yet to come, 47 for four, after 11 overs is the score for Soga College Mwiri. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not alone in the comms box. I am right here with the baby Victoria Pauls player, a left-handed batsman who kinds everything that comes to her body. But right now she's here to make sure she sends away everything with her voice. Witten in Asuna, welcome to the commentary box and what do you make of the game? Thank you, Aiza. Ginger says when it was starting to say it was doing well, but he here in the from the eighth over, it is starting to go down. I don't know why, because they had removed all almost the best batsmen of the other of the other team, so I think they're starting to come weak in their fielding, but they started when they're strong. Well, based on Nasuna waiting, she says that the fielders of Soccer College Muri are trying to l lose it out as the, sorry, the fielders of Nyasin Secondary School are trying to, l uh, starting to lose it out. They are no longer fielding the way they were fielding something I would like to agree with her. Because after Kunsa Cyrus giving a loose ball, Conor Duyama goes hard for that one, and he manages to get a boundary for his side. Another shot at cover is there, and they managed to, to take a very quick single. The response from the fielder wasn't so nice. Because I believe there was a chance for a run out there. The boys from the hill have a lot to do. As Mudola Ediga is batting alongside Conrad Ruwama. Mudola Ediga is standing at 10 for 10 of 13 balls. And Conrad Ruwama is having 18 runs after facing just 19 deliveries. Sky is one up in the air. Chance for a catch. Taken and out goes Mudola Ediga. That was a very beautiful catch from Ochen Peter. Ochen Peter, who recently, Ochen Peter played at the Baby Cricket Cranes, just reminds everyone of the quality he holds in his name. Telling everyone that, guys, look, I can not only bowl, but also I can come and take wickets for my side. I can take catches. That was indeed a very nice fielding. Ginger, Ginger says he's starting to go 
to go back to its strength as they're starting to do well, taking the catches and taking all the chances they're given. I'm liking the morality the captain is putting in, as well as Mwili is also trying to do the same. Ochen Peter taking a very beautiful catch. Remember, already in this game, Ochen Peter has picked three wickets. And now, he is taking very beautiful catches there to make sure that he eliminates as many batsmen as he can. Ochen Peter has picked Nwagaba Edwin's wicket. He has picked Fahad Mtagana. And he has picked... And he has now taken a catch of Mudola Ediga. Very big, good stuff there from the fielding side. Ediga Mudola leaves everything at after scoring 10 or 14 balls. Two beautiful fours, no sixes. And he was operating at a run rate of 71.43. The new batsman is asking the umpire for the leg stamp, and the fielders are looking so strict and tight, showing that they want this this win. Musa Serious is coming to ball, and he gets a dot ball there. Another beautiful delivery there from Hunsa Cyrus. Mwiri has a lot of work to do if they are to win this game. Conrad Ruwama sent to do so many tasks here to make sure that his team can win. Big swing and a miss there from the new man, Changungu Donald. Changungu. In soccer phrase, which would mean something very easy. I don't know that the name was meant to mean something about this game. But this game isn't really looking easy for the boys from the hill. The low parts are seriously struggling in this game since they have 53 for 5. Last ball is overcoming. Good shot there from Changungu. There was a chance to recatch, but Ochen Peter said no. Let me just get in and field that one. And that marks the end of the 12th over. If Busoga College Mwiri, the boys from the hill, claim this victory, they need to score 95 runs in the remaining 8 overs. 4 tight balls yet to come. Ivan, do you think Mwili College can pull out this game in your observation? Well, well, there was a game where Soccer College Mwili was struggling, but when Conrad Ruama came in, he managed to make a captain's knock, and that game was against Masaka SS. When Masaka SS was taking on Soccer College Mwili, some wickets had fallen, but when Conrad Ruama came in, he managed to do very good batting, and he made sure that the boys from the hill claimed that victory. So, in my opinion, since this is a cricket game, I do believe, and I am very confident, that Musoga College still has a chance of winning this game. Newman, they are coming into the attack for Ginger Senior Secondary School, the major school, is Pius Oloka from the banana plantation end. Coming in and showing that he isn't ready to deliver, well, no offense. Maybe some issues with the run up, but that's something he can correct. And he comes in deliv and delivers that one. Ginger says he's trying to be strict and tight in their fielding. 
but but now they're starting to give out the truth and the ones which is costing the temple now the score is now 56 for 5 but ginger says also need a has a big task to run on their fielding because if they they feel the same Mwili college may take the game out of their hands I believe you can afford to give out the twos and the ones. Chance to run out here. Thrown right away. Man in the area. Chance for another run. And the man will take that one. Ochen Peter back with a very good delivery. He balls it away. Some poor fielding here. And the batsmen are enjoying the free runs they are receiving. Courtesy of the poor fielding of Ginger Senior Secondary School. Well, if Ginger SS will keep fielding like this, Whitney it trust in me. Busoka College Mwiri still has a chance in this game. You just can't throw the ball in Haule. You just can't throw the ball without thinking. Make sure that whatever you're throwing is on point, everything on foot, and make sure that you don't allow them to take those runs. As I told you, Ivan, Ginger says started well in the first eight overs. By Pana, they're setting to give out runs. But again, Ginger says is still having the game in their hands. How do you see? Well, Ginger says still have a game in their hands because the Soccer College Muri needs at least 12 runs every over. Something that they have not done in the previous overs. And every time the ball is closing, glanced away so nicely and beautiful running between the wickets. The fielders appreciate the fielding as the batsman is. The call from the umpire was LBW. The ball, in the opinion of the umpire, it was pitched in line, impact in line, hitting stumps, and you have no chance to stay on the wicket. Unless otherwise, Busoka College Mui loses a very big wicket, I repeat, a very big wicket of Conrad Diruama. A lot needs to be done by the tail end batsman if they are to win this one. Whitten, in my opinion, I don't believe the tail enders could get these 90 runs that Soccer College Mui needs to win the game. I think there is some concern of defeat there from the dugout, but that stopped action from moving on here at Ginger SS. 12.3 overs gone. 59 for 6 is the score. Conrad Luwama scoring 18 of the 20 deliveries. He faced two beautiful fours, operating at a strike rate of nine of 90, but his leg was before the wicket, and he, the upper had no choice other than telling him, Conrad, go, get out. As you said, Conrad, There was a chance to run out to there, but the field wasn't so sharp to send it in quickly. And the wicket keeper Timothy Mwangs was ready to get that man out. Unfortunately, the ball didn't land into his hands. 
and then he failed to get that wicket. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined in by the captain. The score is now 61 for 6, as Mwili is trying to chase the runs. And the fielders are showing their effort in each and every corner that every fielder is in to try their best to have this win in their hand and be in the first division. In the first position, sorry. Kosa Seiras is coming back to ball. Donald. He delivers a way there, making the score 62. For Ronaldo's case, today he has tried his best not to let the boundary. Magazi delivers, Kosa says delivers another wide as the feeders are trying to talk to him to bowl his best ball, as it's said by all, all the coaches. His fellow fielders shouting at him, telling him Tokoa. Tokoa, Uganda phrase, try and tell Okusa not to get tired of doing good. He should keep bowling the balls in the juicy areas, just in front of the stumps. Full, big swing, no connection, and no run taken. That is the only area where Okusa is supposed to be putting the balls. Unfortunately, he's looking at the wide line and delivering some there, something which is very costly for his side. To my observation, I think Mwili is starting to surrender because they can't have the 84 in 6.4 because of their batting. Well, Witten, I don't agree with you that if Soka College Mwili can't get the 84 because it is a game of cricket, anything can happen. You never know. As I told you, in a cricket game, there are always those bowlers, those bowlers to be sent away. Maybe they would come in here and make sure that Glory goes to the hill. Chance to run out. The throw was good, but not at the right end. They managed to take the strike. 66 for 6 is the score here at Ginger Senior Secondary School, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Ivan, you say that Willie can have the game, but. You see, they are entire. They can't have the game in their hands. As we run out here, unfortunately, some miscommunication between the fielders. Fire Soloka and Ivagaga Hassan weren't in a good position to send the ball to the right end as they both fumbled with it. 
And the Soka College, we had to capitalize on that mistake. 67 for 6 is the score. That marks the end of quarters over. Letting the overs to be 14 and the remaining with 82 runs needed in six overs. Kunsa Cyrus bowling his four allotted overs conceding on the 26 but he managed to pick a wicket for his side. He has something to brag about if the wind goes the way of Ginger Senior Secondary School. Changungu Donald and Mukisa Eric are there. Changungu having 10 after facing 11 deliveries. Mukisa Eric with two after facing three deliveries. Ginger Senior Secondary School will make some changes <coughs> in their bowling attack. And the left hand bowler, a spinner Richard Sohera, will be, sorry, right hand bowler, but he bats with the left Sohera Richard, will be coming into the attack for Ginger Senior Secondary School from the banana plantation end. So Hela is bowling so well that he delivers a dot ball there. He's bowling to Mukisa Eric. So Hela delivers a second dot ball. And he delivers away there, posting it in. Setting the score to be at 67 for 6 in 14.2 overs. Donald is having 10 runs in 11. And Muxa is having 2 in 5. The supporters outside supporting Gengesis is supporting their bowler. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot there from Eric Mukisa, and they managed to rotate the strike. The soccer college will be making sure that they get a run from every ball. So, Hela Richard asking questions here, asking them if they have driving permits, and they are driving some ball. A positive response from the batsman. One in the money area glanced away to mid wicket. Some poor fielding. They get two. Big shouts from the crowd telling them to communicate. Last ball of the over coming in. So Hela is bowling so well. Making his red so well. Needs appeal for the fielders, appealing, and the, uh, the umpire refuses to give the batsman out. The call from the senior umpire there, in his opinion, is a not out call. Ladies and gentlemen, 15 of us are going here at Ginger Senior Secondary School. So Hera Richard pulling the 15th over, not considering so many runs as he considered only six, didn't pick any wicket, but he leaves the score at 73 for six after 15 overs here at Ginger Senior Secondary School. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our sky view is getting warm. It's high time we went to see it as we welcome Sharifa, a player at Nias Nias Secondary School, who made sure that his spin leads her side into the top flight division, the first division of the ladies' side, alongside Sandra Achao, who is also the wicket keeper for Soroti City Cricket Club. We shall be back in just a while. Kaliowasha Ginger says brings in another bowler. Kaliowasha Mwari. Also spinner coming from Papa Lord M. Has, has so far delivered his first ball. The batsman Mukisha. Miss Fielding from the keeper. Was supposed to be a wicket. Miss Fielding by the keeper. At least the boundary fielder did his job, managed to keep the ball from going to boundary. Pressure on both teams. The score right now is 77 out of six wickets. Empire closure for a wide from Kaliowa Samuel. Giving a point to the batting side. So ladies and gentlemen, we are right here in the Buddha of Cricket, right here in Ginger Cricket Oval. Some good chest there by the two fielders. And as you can see, the two batters right in there. Mukisa together. Some beautiful delivery there, and some good knock from Mukisa. And that has marked the end of the over number 16. We have the last four overs to go. So ladies and gentlemen, we see pressure amounting from the two teams who are trying to battle up this beautiful game which is right here live in Ginger Cricket Oval. Partition end to attack. Changungu right, Changungu right now is on strike. Mukisa Nani strike. Moyili just needs 16 in 4.0 overs to win this game. Soga College Moiri is moving at a run rate of 5.00, of which I don't think that is a better run rate for them to be moving at since they are a little bit low 
and they are struggling with everything. Umpire doing some stretches right in there after the bowler delivering a white ball. So Hera coming from the, the banana plantation side, giving us the 17th over. There they push for one run. Good delivery from the bowler. So the bat did his job. Managed to get a single pushing there. So 83. Still, so is still in the attack. <coughs> a swing and a miss from the batsman. Had good work done by the wicket keeper. The bowler trying to hit the same spot. A chance for the run out in there. But fortunately or unfortunately. Kiangugu goes out after him being a little bit slow right in the wicket there. He goes out. The score still stands at 83 for the loss of 7 wickets in 16.5 overs. So ladies and gentlemen, here in the com box, I'm being joined by one of the senior woman umpires right in here who is going to say something for you as you keep on viewing the game closer and closer to your screens. Sharon, you're most welcome. Thank you, Achao. From Mwiri Cricket Oval to Ginger SS now, where there is a very entertaining match between Muiri, between Ginger SS and Muiri. Muiri being at 84 for seven in 17, 17 overs. A child from my field. I think today is when I witnessed the lowest score ever in my umpiring career. Lord Smith was out for two for all out in four overs, two runs scored from my pitch. I don't know what to say, a chow. But that is what happened in my field. Because they were versing this, the Lions, Nyakashura. I think they were also scared. They could not hit the ball. As you saw yesterday, Nyakashura playing good heart. And it was the same thing. Good game down here in Ginger SS. Whoever is around, please come in the park and watch the game of cricket. It's good to see the competition is high. I don't know to you, Achao. Do you think Ginger SS, if they are to win this, they are going to win this match, of course. Do you think they can beat Nyakashura? According to the spell and uh, the action together, the body language and everything that they are showing up today in this in this game against uh, Busoga College Muiri, I believe they can make it if all goes well. But cricket is a gentleman's game, at, as you know before, that... It is only the ball and the bat to talk. Well said there. There is pressure game here. Mwiri wanting to go big. 
And Ginger SS is not willing to give any chance. A lot of fun going on. Spectators are doing. People are having fun. People are enjoying the game. And uh, I should tell you, Sh Sandra, people love the game of cricket. Look at, look at the spectators round the field in to watch the game of cricket. This shows that the game has grown and the game is growing and many people follow cricket. Let's watch what goes on. You said you don't think you, you, the game of cricket is a game that you cannot, it's unpredictable. Anything can happen anytime. Ginger seems very strong now, but you never know. Let's come around, watch cricket for those who are around. And for those who are not able, buy data. The game is streamed live by Deep Enders Sports Media. Sky View came in for soft drinks for the boys. And crystal clear to quench your thirst. Uganda Cricketers Association making sure the boys are playing the game and having fun. Different pitches, Mwiri Cricket Ground, Jiko Cricket Ground, Kira College Cricket Ground, and now Ginger SS Cricket Ground. You can buy data and follow all the games from different pitches. As for now, Mwiri is still at 85 for 7 in 17 overs. Let's see what's, what they have to show us. Thanks so much, Auntie, uh, for that wonderful word that you've, uh, that you've delivered to our viewers. Coming back to the game right in here. Aliano together with Mukisa battling right in there for Busoga College Mwiri having 85 for the loss of 7 wickets moving at a run rate of 4.86 Peterson Ochen coming back to coming back from the Kampala Road side bowling his fourth over considered considered 14 runs and picking 3 wickets so according to you, uh, the senior one umpire, according to the way Ochen has bowled, he's uh, three, three overs. So what is your take about his bowling and uh, him picking those big wickets of uh, Busoga College and giving the, the batters right in there some hard time and asking themselves a lot of questions on how to play pace and those bouncers who are trying to hit their bodies and going straight to the keeper's gloves. Uh, thank you, Achao. To my view, Ochen is actually a good bowler. I, I, I have not seen Ochen today. I umpired the game uh, two weeks ago, bat ball, and he was bowling so well. And he's a good captain, if I should say. I've seen him captain, ball, and he's a very good bowler. And indeed, he is actually steaming in to the Muiri, Muirians. And I'm telling you, um, Ginger SS is a good team and all the best to them because he has worked around his uh, players, they know what to do they can set the, f they set the field well, they back each other up and it's a competition at the end of the day you know. so he's a good bowler and he, he has taken charge for his side I must say and there is a, a very a very bright future for him, hoping they call him to the national side. And he's, he's from the under-19 tournament, and he was doing also well there. So, But I think also the other side, they have under-19s in their side, but it depends. But he's doing so well for Ginger SS, and it's good to see the intensity of the game being high. Thanks so very much, uh, the senior man umpire, for such words that you're giving us.
Lascaux still stands at 86 for the loss of seven wickets. Ladies and gentlemen, the game here is getting more interesting, but the overs are going down so very fast. As you can see, that is now the 19th over. We only have now 1.3 overs to go for us to call it a game down between Ginger Senior Secondary School and Busoga College. Muri being the defending champion last year and taking that trophy with ease. Today, Ginger SS coming back so hard for them. And as you can see, wicket time right in there after Musika trying to walk down the truck, wanting to hit Kayola right in there. And the wicket keeper was very, very sharp behind the wickets and stamping him out as you can see him walking and still doubting himself but umpire's words are really finals we can't really say any other word or even being hard on the umpire because he's the one leading us right in there so ladies and gentlemen don't forget to get for yourself skyview soda crystal national mineral water as you can keep watching the game and streaming it live here in Ginger Cricket Oval. From weary side, Okwalinga is into bat. 87 for 8 in 18.5 overs. Shot there and the umpire signals 4 for Mwiri. Like you said, Sandra... The score needed by Mwiri is not achievable in the number of balls remaining. Sandra, what? Uh, let me ask now. What do you think? You've, you've, you saw the first innings. I missed the first innings. How was the bowling from Mwiri? Do you think they would have scored more runs than... Do you think Ginger says would have scored more runs than that? And probably... What was what did Mwiri do that did not make them? What what did Ginger says do that made them score such a, a of like score? Thanks so much. Uh, the first inning, the but Ginger says batted first, and uh, their opening batters did their part. Although uh, one of the opening batters lost he's wicked but the people who came in they went in so very hard the Sohera scored a 50 in just some few balls which made uh, Ginger SS to have that energy and Makio at the same time in the first innings we saw some good sixes being hit everywhere that is why they were able to score such runs on board uh, thank you, Sandra Atao. I think today's game has shown that probably Mwiri is a weaker side because even yesterday we saw the, the Good Heart team. They are a team that came in as fresh. They were playing the Big Lions, the, the Nyakashura, but you saw they were limiting them to their target that they wanted to. They actually tried to defend, if I may say. Don't you think it's a different thing now? Like you say, we all say cricket is a is an unpredictable game. But I think yesterday's game, them being play the uh, the the, the, the lo good heart playing Nyakashura, and they were very aggressive. I don't see aggressiveness. Another wicket there for Ginger SS. Wicket number nine, and Ariane is gone. Like I was still telling you, Sandra. I think yesterday's game, 
was more competitive than this. Ginger and Muri, they all, to me, they all have the same, they are all strong. But I'm still touched by the well good heart played yesterday. Because they were playing their hearts out. They were a weaker team. They were playing with the lion, Jakashura, but they were still coming strong. The attitude, the aggressiveness, whatever they were doing, it was on point. How do you compare yesterday's game to today's game? Uh, let me start from the today's game because today's game, we, we all know that Ginger SS together, the Busoga College, Muri, they are all having the under 19 players who play for baby cricket crane so at least this game is competitive than yesterday to me i can give round of applause to good heart because they are just a young team who has just come up and they are, and they were playing for their okay they are playing for their first time being in nationals but the, i believe they are getting very many experiences because the the people who are writing there for the baby cricket crane they are soon stepping out and maybe they'll be joining the main team for men. So I believe uh, the young boys of Good Heart who played yesterday, they, with the experience that they are getting and the ones they have got already, I believe they'll be in position to come back very hard and putting on some of the people's shoes right in there for under 19. Last over. 19.3 overs down. We have 91 for the loss of nine wickets. Okecho coming. Okecho is the gentleman who is on strike right in there for Busoga College Muiri. A very, very big appeal there. After Okecho facing his first ball, he clicks and umpire says he is out. A wicket keeper was very sharp behind there by taking that beautiful catch and that has make Ginger SS coming victorious after winning this beautiful game, the wonderful game between Busoka College Mwiri and uh, Ginger Senior Secondary School, the mighty school. It was really a good game down here at Ginger SS. Very competitive game here. A game that attracted many crowds to come and watch. Sandra, I can tell you the boys cricket has grown and is still growing. I love the intensity of the game. And come tomorrow, come Saturday, it's going to be more fun. Thank you, our viewers, those who are online, for buying your data, streaming live. Thank our partners, Deep End Sports Media, Sky View, Crystal Clear for quenching our thirst, supporting the Boys Cricket 2023. Those who, are, who bought their data to follow online from different grounds, continue doing so and support our boys. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, here in the com box, I'm being joined by Sajabi Ivan, who is going to give us uh, the updates of what has been happening in different grounds, as well as reading for us the, the table standings of all the teams who have been battling from day one, and that is a Sunday up to today, day, four, day five of this tournament. Beautiful day of cricket. Beautiful games played today. 
My name is Sajabi Ivan Cyprian, part of the commentary team. And ladies and gentlemen, as it stands in Group A, Ginger Senior Secondary School has played four games and won all their four games. They are on top of the table with eight points. Bosoka College Mwiru has played a game more than Ginger Senior Secondary School have eight points as well, but Ginger Senior Secondary School has a better net run rate. I think because of today's win of three point, sorry, of 4.75, and they are on top of the table. Masaka Senior Secondary School is in position number three, playing six, winning three, losing three, and having six points. The Republic International played their seven games, won three, lost four, and they got six points. Entire school, the school from Mumbarara played, has played game five games, won two, lost three, they have four points. Kilembe Senior Secondary School, after playing six games, they have two wins. They have lost four, and they have four points. Ndeje Senior Secondary School, a well side, has played four, lost two, and won two, four points. Tesla College, Alouette, resting at the bottom of the table, comfortably there, 